all before you run away? Yay! <laughs> Hi guys, welcome on. Tiffany here from Tiffany Gordon Cosplay and a big, big happy sub day. Um, if you're new to our community, sub day here on my Twitch channel is a day to say thank you for all of the Twitch sub supporters here um, as this really, really helps so that way I can continue to do this as my full-time job. And as part of our sub day, our sub part of the community gets to uh, do suggestions on what they would like me to make in one day for a prop. Uh, what are you doing, Bubbles? Don't rub on that. <laughs> um, sorry, distract rude. Uh, but yes, and y'all voted on us doing the master sword today. So we are going to be making the full fabrication of the master sword. Bubbles. She's all like worked up now. I guess she's excited it's someday too. I don't know. But yeah, so we'll be making the full uh, fabrication part of the Master Sword. So it is all gonna be made out of EVA foam and CPVC pipes. Uh, it does not include us painting today because that is not a one day period. So yes, 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 yes. But anyway, welcome, welcome on to everybody that is watching, lurking, or watching later on the Cosplay YouTube. Hello, hello, and welcome on Air, welcome on Omega, uh, Pug, welcome on Yosho and Wizard. Yes, yeah. I don't know if I have uh, the chess thing on or not, but um, we'll see, we'll see, we'll see. <laughs> but yeah, there will be glue involved, so probably. Uh, we'll have to turn it off if it is not. You don't see, uh, want to spit, oh, okay. Uh, yeah, makes sense, makes sense. But yes, um, so I think that's really like the only announcement we have. Wooja, wooja, wooja. So yes, um, I did do a little bit of work beforehand to prep us for starting the build. So that, uh, we have our Blueprints already printed out and assembled. And for this, uh, the blueprints available on my website if y'all are interested. So yes, we're in Discord, you should share. Uh, there is a cosplay work in progress section if you wanna share any of your stuff there. The secret 200,000 one. <laughs> um, that's a secret. But yeah, so we'll be making our master swords today. It is a little early, I know. We start our sub days at like 10 a.m. instead of our normal weekly days at like 1 p.m. So good morning to everyone. But yeah, so we got this, and then we're gonna be using for the handle part of the piece. We've got this already pre-cut, and then for the blade, we have this part so we can insert. I should have glued these already. Um, hopefully my epoxy works. Hopefully, hopefully. That'll probably be the first thing that we do because I need to make sure that we have that. My bad. <laughs> but yes, that'll be the inner bone structure of our sword. And then we have for all of these little pieces. We'll end up wrapping with these leather cords so that way I can paint them afterwards. And then we also have all of the individual pieces already put on tracing paper as well. So this will make it 10 times easier for us to just put this on the foam and cut out. So that way this build doesn't take stupid long. Um, I'm anticipating this to be eight hours of a prop build today. Hopefully it'll be six and I'm just over guessing. Um, so we'll see, we'll see, but yes. <laughs> uh, one day builds are crazy for you. It took you over a month to make a master sword. <laughs> yeah, well we've been doing one day builds uh, once a month for the last four months, I think. So yeah, it's been fun. It's just, it takes a lot of prep work. And again, it's not a 
it's the construction part of it. It's not the, we're not painting it. Um, and it just, it doesn't have to be 100% perfect. For like my normal work and stuff, um, I try to make them look as clean as possible, but for our one day builds, it's really like, what can I do in a day? And it helps you kind of think and brain solve things of like, well, I don't have time to do this, so we're gonna do it this way. And like, even though sometimes like for, we did the Highland Shield here a few months ago as a one day build. And even though it wasn't like, a hundred percent like amazing. I was still really proud of it and I, I left all the imperfections because I like seeing what I'm capable of doing in a day and having that there. So yeah. But um, because I have to glue this, I need to get my epoxy and get that going. That was the one thing I forgot in my, my uh, the white part of the epoxy, two part epoxy is a little dead. So we shall see. Okay. Hang there. Hang there. All right. So with that, I'm going to get our Instagram live going. Um, since we're a little early and it's a weird day. So give me a second to pull that up and then we'll start getting, getting going on the Master Sword. So yes, 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 yes. Boop, boop, boop. Details live now on twitch.tv slash Tiffany Gordon Crossplay. Boop. Okay. Wajja! Wajja! <laughs> so let me get it started on here and then we will start our build. Everybody's gonna love our full window view. Wish I, wish I. Okay. Boop. Connecting. Connecting. Boop. 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 Okay. Got it. Live now on twitch.tv. Oh wait. Wait, wait, wait. No. Go to twitch.tv slash Tiffany Gordon Cosplay to chat making Master Sword in one day. Okay. And post and pin comment. There we go. Alrighty, we are live. We are live, we are live. Boop and loop 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 loop. I wish the commenting thing didn't go like way stupid high. All right, so for people that are watching on Instagram, I'm currently live on twitch.tv slash Tiffany Cosplay. I will not be chatting via Instagram, so go to Twitch. We are doing a one day cosplay prop build making the Master Sword, so go to there. Here, people that are watching here are good. People that are watching here, go to Twitch. Okay, there we go. <laughs> but yes, good morning everybody. Alrighty, so, and yeah, Master Sword, for both camera angles. So let us cut these pieces real quick and then we will transfer it over. Oh, I need to put my note on that part. Um, it's a little... <laughs> All right, so this one is times two for 10 millimeter, and then times two for four millimeter. So it's on there, and we will start cutting it. Yeah, I decided after our like first sub day that we did here on Twitch, like many months ago, discovered not having any of my patterns and stuff already put together added an extra two hours to our fabrication. So I tried to have at least a little bit more uh, in advance done. All right. 
But yeah, we also start earlier today just so that way it gives me more time in the day to make this and that way I'm not making it at night. for it and then we'll do the smaller sections. Yes. And again, those on Instagram go to twitch.tv slash Tiffany Gordon Cosplay. I am talking to chat there, not here. I'm gonna my trash can to the other side. That can go there. So let me get the EVA foam. Appreciate it. All right. There. I'm gonna turn our music up a little. It was a little quiet. Okay. So we'll need to trace. Directors on the Ultimate Cosplay 
um, and I am their project coordinator and I have been swamped with things, but there's so much good stuff coming, so I'm really happy with that. Um, been doing a lot of stuff with sponsors as well. <laughs> Currently making six different cosplay related things, which is a bit cray cray. Um, yeah, and I, I don't even know off, off the top of my head what else. I, I just am busy, so yeah. <laughs> I know, me? Busy? What? You, you're kidding. Who, whoever thought I was busy? Hmm. Hmm. Yeah, but that's been me, so. You're good, just got a uh, haircut, gonna look good for your buddy's wedding. Nice! Playing some Diablo 2 with the boys later. Nice, nice. Good to hear. I'm actually surprised with how many people um, got Diablo 2 again. Like, I thought it would be somewhat big, but there's been a lot more response with it than I was anticipating. And that's good. Okay, that one. I need to trace it one more time. Aw, thanks, Max. I appreciate it. this down. Wish that would show better. Supposed to, uh, surprise to you about to, yeah. I mean, I'm sure there was a lot of, at least on Twitch, there were so many people playing it on the first day. So I assume they also paid some streamers to play it. Um, I'd be really surprised if they hadn't, but yeah. I think everybody else has been looking for for new games since they, they pushed back Battlefield to November. Um, everybody's still waiting for, uh, I think New World's not fully out yet, right? I don't think so, but maybe. Um, and then Back for Blood is next month. <laughs> it's all good. It's all good. Okay. New World not yet released? Okay. I knew they had the early access, but I wasn't sure if it like snuck in somewhere of like, hey, it's out now. But honestly, I wouldn't be surprised if New World got pushed back also. Just because every game does at this point <laughs> like anything that's actually released on their actual release date like original one i am shocked oh wait i needed to that's okay that's okay that's okay <laughs> we'll cut these out and then we'll trace it on to the next one too so yeah Diablo 2 has a pretty big following so not surprised people were jumped on the remaster yeah <laughs> Exclusively for your phones. Yes. Um yes. Yes, yes, yes. Okay. Okay. Let us record this part. Time to cut and it'd be helpful if y'all could see too. Somewhat. Somewhat, you know. Yee. My blade feels somewhat dull. Uh, thank you, Link, for the new follow. That's that. Joke. 
Yeah, the plan is to have every part cut out before noon. Um, around 12, 12.30, we'll do a small little Jimmy John's lunch break, like I've been doing for every sub day so far. And then a full on put together afterwards and uh, yeah. Yeah, my blade's definitely like, I need to change it out. It's so dull. Um, let me see. Oh, sorry, that was like right in the mic. <laughs> Alrighty. You had to say quiet. <laughs> uh, gotta head out. Need to get a wedding present. Be back later. Okay, good luck. Happy, happy shopping. Lurk from work. Always acceptable. Happy, happy work day for you too, Professor. Let's see. What parts do I have to recut? Not too bad. It'll just be a tiny bit fuzzy there, but all of these are going to be added together and sanded anyway, so it won't really matter. But yeah. Wish luck. We're starting. Yee! <laughs> uh, FY81, thank you for the new follow. Much love. And for those watching on Instagram, go to twitch.tv slash Tiffany Gordon Cosplay. I'm talking to chat there. We are making the Master Sword in one day. So go to Twitch, not Instagram. I turn this off, right? Yeah. Okay. Okay, 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 okay. It should be better now. I'm gonna tilt this upwards so my head doesn't get cut off as much. I mean, it probably still will when I do this. No, it's a little harder. Ooh, slice like butter. I managed to actually have some time yesterday and play some more Valheim. It's really nice. I was like so exhausted because I've been just doing so many, so much stuff on the side and it was really nice to just like take a few hours and then have a slight break, but then the break I, I had to go back to work after. So, <laughs> but it was still good. Yeah, the Valheim and the Gas Station Simulator are my two games that I'm currently playing. Hi Queen, welcome on, how are you today? Cheese numbers, what? <laughs> Oh, 
All right. Uh, I also need another Sharpie. This one's a little dead. Let me get one. by Sir Adam. All right. Leslie Build, hopefully, hopefully. We're, we're just getting started, so hopefully in the end it'll be to everybody's satisfactory. So two sub days or two sub streams. So two months ago, um, we did Clee's backpack and we finished the backpack in, in the day. But the I still haven't finished painting it, and I'm just like, ah, oh. there's just like a pile of cosplay stuff in the corner right now that one day I will get to and refinish. So yeah, <laughs> but this is gonna be another thing that's gonna sit in the corner until I have time after we're done making it for painting, so. All right. Yeah, the Sharpie's a lot better. It's nice and fresh and new. Yee! <laughs> Sweet beans, thank you for the new follow. Much love. Sub, or like sunlighting for a little bit since uh, it's still the morning here. Okay. And then we gotta trace this a second time now. enjoying our stream so far the, the first few minutes we've been starting this and a big happy sub day and also an even bigger thank you to my sub supporters here on twitch who are helping me to continue doing this as my full-time job your support is extremely appreciated Yep, it is 
September, which means all uh, new subs and gifted subs here on Twitch are, what is it, 20% off or something like that? Yeah, I'm just gonna snap this off um, the blade. Uh, safety glasses, though. Do it over here. Alrighty. So we should have a nice sharp blade now. Hopefully, hopefully. <laughs> And there it was on Instagram. Go to twitch.tv slash Tiffany Gordon Cosplay because I'm talking to chat there and not here. So go there, please. Thank you. Alrighty, alrighty. Let us continue, continue. Actually, make this easier. Oh, it's okay. make it ten times easier to work with now. I can stand close to it now. Haha. <laughs> Alrighty. This is 10 millimeter EVA foam that we're cutting with the box cutter right now. Not cut 
very well. Eh. It's gonna need cleanup later. Yep, I make everything that I make um, that's a prop or cosplay. I typically make 100% of my patterns and the blueprint for this uh, master store is available on my website www.tiffanygordoncosplay.com or you can do exclamation point website and it'll bring you up to it and there will be a tutorial for making this eventually down the line hi the room welcome on uh hope you're having a <laughs> job Yep. Yep, yep. We're doing well. Alright. That. Cheers, guys. Thanks for watching. Okay. So, we have the main parts of our blade now cut. So those pieces are all here. It's gonna be four that are stacked. Um, and you'll understand later why we're doing that. But we also, I think my epoxy is good now. Uh, I've had them flipped over for a good 30 minutes, but we should be able to glue our pieces together now. So. Yep, I am a full-time cosplay builder and streamer here on Twitch. And today is sub day, a day dedicated to my Twitch sub community to say thank you for your support so that way I can continue to do this as my full-time job. And uh, as part of sub day, um, all of my subs get to uh, add suggestions or like put their suggestions on what props they want me to make in our sub section on Discord. And then uh, I choose, I look through the list and I'm like, which ones can I actually make in a day? And then out of those, it's normally about like four that uh, our sub community gets to vote on which one piece I will make in one day. And that was the master sword for this month. So yes. Yep, yep, yep. Okay. Let's see, let's see. We're gonna have this one go to, I think about there. So we'll mark it there. Glue. And then for this, I do need to get my sandpaper on. And for epoxying anything, especially if it's a smooth surface, you have to rough it up. So I have like, I think this is 120 grit for roughing Write it up. Write it down, write it down. Nice. So yes. Uh, Killtech, thank you for using your prime gaming sub here for seven months. Much love and I really appreciate the support. As always, you will be in the scrolly thing on our next stream and a big happy Sunday to you. I will write it down. And yes, yes. <laughs> Hope you're doing well. Hey Tab, thank you, thank you. Alrighty, alrighty. Um, long time to see, finally, you can catch you, uh, busy man. Oh, I understand that. I've been busy myself. But hopefully you've been doing well. We're doing a, our, our sub day today, which we're doing a one day build of the Master Sword. So yes. Oh, I just, yeah. <laughs> Alright, so just rough it up with the sandpaper. Okay. Now, 
the uh, white part of the two-part epoxy is a little, a little dead. So we'll see if I have to scrape it out. I think I do. Let's see. Uh, Fly Smart, thank you for the, the follow. Much love. Yeah, we're gonna have to do that, unfortunately. Okay. It's only a little dead. Try to make it a little even. The downfall is none of the hardware stores have this type of epoxy in my little town, so I always have to order this on Amazon. And I realized yesterday how bad this was, my epoxy. So it's like there was no way I was gonna be able to replace it for today's stream, so. Okay. Do I have any partners or employees? Um, I mean, it's just me. I'm a one man show. I do all of my social media. I do all of my props, my costumes. Um, I work in every medium. So leather, EVA foam, Warbla, 3D modeling, 3D printing. Um, I do everything. The only thing I don't do is I have a friend that clicks the button for my photo shoots, but I edit all the photos. So that's the only thing I can't do. <laughs> but yeah, if you're interested in the any of my past builds or anything, check out my website or Instagram. Both are Tiffany Gordon Cosplay. Yeah, this will, ideally I'd like this to have dried overnight, but by the time we get to actually starting to use this, it will be at least sitting for probably two or three hours. So we should be good. Mix, 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 mix. Okay, good enough. Let us go, let us go. All right. Sorry, adjusting the camera. Boop. This makes it so y'all can watch tutorials later. Been bad. 
So yeah. <sighs> voila, voila. Write it down, write it down. <laughs> Shane, thank you for the resub of two months. Hi Tiffany, looking forward to close to because I know it's been over a year since I've seen you. Ah. Um, I haven't talked to Jason officially about a date, but I know next month he wants to do a maintenance day. So possibly doing that, maybe, maybe. So yeah, but I will write you down. Thank you, thank you, happy sub day. It's only mostly dead. Yeah, it, the glue is only mostly dead. It's still kind of usable if you have a paintbrush that you can uh, jab up there and kind of pull it through. But it doesn't, uh, you can't like squeeze it out anymore. Tier two, three, sub. Got it. Thank you, thank you. <laughs> Morning, Adam. Welcome on. Also, uh, I know you said you sent me something in the P.O. box. Is it something that can wait to get picked up? Because I was gonna go yesterday. I was actually doing a, a lunch yesterday with a friend and my car is officially dead. So, um, the battery, it, it doesn't even like, when you put the key in the, the ignition, it doesn't even turn on anything. It doesn't make a sound. So I gotta figure that out. Um, so maybe a bit till I get to the P.O. box. But uh, yeah, I, I need to make sure it's not something that, that'll die in there, preferably. <laughs> uh, did you finish the Hutu costume? No, not yet. Uh, that one I plan on finishing next month at some point, but I'm currently working on six different cosplay-related props and costumes. So our streams have been a bit, this day is this, this day is this, and it's really confusing for everybody. So yeah. <laughs> yeah, talked to him earlier today. You have a tooth extraction yesterday, so no shop day for me. Ooh, I'm sorry, I'm sorry. Yeah, it doesn't expire. Okay, cool, 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 cool. Yeah, I mean, if y'all have been here long enough, y'all know the issues I have with my car. Um, I, how many times I, my battery just does not stand, so. I need to drive my car more. I, I'm a hermit and I do not leave my house um, except to go a, a daily walk to the mailbox. It's kind of bad. So I don't drive my car anywhere. Uh, okay, um, sorry. Continuing forward, uh, we no longer need this and this. So I will put this out of the way. Always best when crafting to put your stuff up as you go. Because otherwise it's a nightmare. All right. Hermits are great. He, 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 he. The the Umaru costume honestly is like the best thing because it's it's just me. It, it's real life me. Don't send fruit or eggs to the PO box. Don't send chocolate either. Um, most of the time it's like mostly melted since I'm in Texas. So yeah. And I can't do chocolate really anymore. I can do like extremely extremely dark chocolate, but because I can't do milk anymore, it. Yeah, it's a, it's a very weird adjustment this month. So, okay, pieces we need to cut out of 10 millimeter. So these pieces we need to cut, um, that one needs 12, and these two are 10, this is 10. Okay, so we'll cut these pieces, put it onto 10 mil, and then we'll keep going. <clears throat> Oh, and now that I'm sitting, I can move that down again. A little better. Hi, Crimson. Welcome on. How are you today? Alrighty, alrighty, alrighty. I could probably change the exposure now. Let me do that. Bit laggy, I see. Hopefully. Let me check one thing real quick. Okay, that's just my main thing still. Uh, cat cam configure and exposure there. Boop. Hopefully that's a little better for y'all. <clears throat> Excuse me. <clears throat> All right. So let's cut our next pieces. 
And for those watching on Instagram, go to twitch.tv slash Tiffany Gordon Cosplay because that is where I am streaming. Not on here, I'm not answering chat here. Go there. Cool, thanks. Alrighty. So this one. And we need four of these. And the plan for this is to have it where each one of these, so these are for these pieces, and we're gonna do the same for this, but we have a middle piece that all of the pieces are going to attach to, that's two mil, and these pieces are all gonna be 10, and we'll sand each one individually and stick them to the main surface. That was like the easiest thing I could come up with for a one day build. Um, so we'll see how nice it looks in the end. Um, but yeah. <laughs> Excuse me. gonna be a pain for sanding. Uh, I think that's all for 10 mil that we're gonna do. So let's get our foam. We have a smaller section now. Yee! Uh, Polly, thank you for the new follow. Much love. Okay. There, we're gonna start by trying to put them in the smaller section. Uh, typically with scraps, you have this nice big area, but try to use that for the bigger sections. So starting in the saw and then work your way that way, if you need. That's how I like to do it. Okay. Go ahead and start. Start to tracing. Okay, y'all can see. And we need two of this one. I need two of and I will need to draw in my guidelines for these but I think we'll do it after okay and then we need four of each of these all good yeah for working with metal like sheets of metal and having to figure out how to puzzle piece stuff you kind of learn that you want to keep your more expensive stuff and like save materials so you always try to use the smallest section and to put things as close as possible together saves you money in the end and then saving 
saving large pieces of scrap phone as well. Okay. people to receive a sub please make sure to tell him thank you i really appreciate the support and happy sub day yes write it down write it down write it down write it down <laughs> awesome 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 ah i got it sir thank you thank write you down, write it down <laughs> yeah all the, all the hearts, all the hearts. <laughs> Alrighty, to continue. Write it down, write it down. But yeah, I hope your recovery is going well. And in general, everything is good. That one. Write it down, write it down. And we need two more of it. Yep, yep, happy Sunday. <laughs> write it down, write it down. Well, keep me going through the day since it's going to be a long Write it down, stream. write it down. Okay, this one's the last one. And before, write it down, write it down. Before we cut these, I'll need to trace the um, the middle section as well. Okay, and the last one. Ugh. Write it down, write it down. Well, at least you have here to um to hopefully we can put a smile on your face and. I'm sure you have some games that you can play that might help as well in the background or shows. Yep, yep. Hopefully work you have uh, off of as well. They're not making you do any teaching and stuff. Move this this way. Oops. There we go. Okay. And two more. We will have a few other pieces that we're going to cut out of 10 mil, but they're going to be circles that we're going to have to use the circle cutter on. So it'll be a, a little different. All right, there we go. Yeah, no work this week and no class to the end of October, so plenty of time before you have to teach it. That's good. I'm glad. Oh god, they're giving you the time off then. Okay, that one. Doodly do, doodly do, doodly do, doodly do. Um, let's get our little ruler. And I want to get our other Sharpie. I think these 
worked. I gotta pull off the little cappy thing though. There we go. Let's see. Yeah, this works. It'll at least me make a smaller indentation thingy. Um, with the ruler, so we need to do our little line here. Maybe, I thought it would work. Okay, never mind. It works if I put pressure, but I don't want to put pressure there really. So we're just gonna do our basic line. Boop. Those lines will be really important for us for when we want to sand. And then we will cut this center part. One, so we'll just trace that part. Because this is going to be a cutting line. marks haha <laughs> okay that one can go to the side and then next is this one and thanks guys for watching on Instagram make sure to go over to twitch.tv slash tippingbird cosplay to talk and chat there it is free you don't have to pay it to be on twitch okay first one oh wait I take this back I'll take this back. So we need to not have an X there, not have an X there, or like not have that line. And then those two we do, because they have to be mirrored on the other side. So once we cut these out, then I can do it on the other side. Glad I um, caught that real quick. So we'll just make this one, that one.
almost done with chasing and then we will cut these parts out. Okay, and then these ones, which I'm going to not draw these second lines. Don't draw the second lines, Tiffany. Don't draw them. Go to the next one. Good job. Okay. Okay, we did that time. <laughs> Hi, Zin. Welcome on. How are you today? Happy sub day. Happy sub day. All right. Um, before we cut this out, I'm going to really quickly go and get a Dr. Pepper. So I will be back momentarily. Back in a bit. And enjoy this lovely, uh, lovely ad. And I brought a Dr. Pepper. Cheers, guys. And I think I'm also gonna end the Instagram thing. So if you're watching in here, go to twitch.tv slash Tiffany Gordon Cosplay. Okay. <laughs> Boop. Boop. And in that. Cool, cool. We'll see if the Puppetes comes and visits at any point. Alrighty. is that today too no this is the first one it's the first one we haven't had any else today so yeah okay so now to cut each one I'm starting to get hungry though. 
Six, no, it's not six. We're not gonna do that today. The most I'll have in a day is two. Six is a bit much, and I don't think I have six in the fridge. day the uh, Almadrod blade all of those pieces trying to get people over um, from Instagram to here because Twitch is unreliable for giving notifications and things but I don't like streaming on Instagram live because uh, the chat basically from here down you don't see anything so the chat if you're working on actually like crafting things and, and stuff it doesn't really work for talking and asking questions and things it works but yeah Thanks, crazy. <laughs> Turns you into Spider-Man meme where you flex the oh, gosh. <laughs> guys I hope y'all are enjoying the stream I know we are having a little bit of a lag again today I fixed part of the issue is because I have another drive like a Google Drive thing and it was copying it to my computer instead of staying in the cloud or something like that and somebody had to help me fix it for me so that was probably one of the bigger issues. But yeah, still trying to get some stuff to cure out. Oh wait, I want to do the middle one first. Write it down, write it down! Cliff, welcome on! And thank you for the resub of 17 months. Much love, and I hope your secret agent job gets a little better. Um, I know you're a little down with it, so. Yeah, I will write it down. Reset. 
What's up? What's up? I hope you don't have work today too. We are doing a one day uh, master sword build today for Sunday. No work other than housework. Ah, gotcha, gotcha. Well, that's good. Glad you can uh, make it for a stream then. Might need to sharpen the blade in a bit. It's sub day, can't miss sub day. I know, I know. <laughs> you miss all the other streams, but at least you can make it to sub day. So that's good. We got that one, yeah. Uh, I should make separate piles for these. So that one's that way. These are the those and then that one goes with their wait 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 no this one goes over here sorry glad glad i'm making piles for them because that one is definitely wrong spot so oh whoop, whoop, whoop. Hmm. 
I might have to do the normal exacto knife for some of these. We've got a good portion of all of the pieces cut out now, so that's good. a gift bomb earlier, so there's a lot, of, a lot of lucky people. So congrats on being one of those people that received it. Yeah, and happy sub day. to cut the bottom parts now. Write it down, write it down. <laughs> uh, Indrath, uh, thank you for the new sub. I greatly appreciate it. Much love and happy sub day. You will be in the scrolly thing on our next stream. Wish off. And also, for any of your subs, as always, you have access to the open Discord, or anybody has access to the open Discord, and then there is, for our sub people, a sub section with goodies in there. So make sure to take advantage of that. Woosha! Thank you, thank you. Okay. today. Okay, so all of those are done. Put them over here. Enough. 
these we only have like the small pieces to do. stream some of that. Uh, we had to um, hide certain seams, obviously, because of the game. Uh, that was before all the rules on things, so. <laughs> Explore more. Ah, gotcha, gotcha. Working on the overcoat. Nice. Ah. Okay. Ah. We will go in that pile there. Okay, so the last pieces we have, we have a few that are 12 millimeter, and then we have two millimeters. So I'm gonna get the two millimeter EVA foam out now. So yeah. Don't know if we uh, need a bit, of, yeah, be nice. Bunch of random jobs uh, in the house today. 3D printers are working away. Nice. I haven't used my 3D printer in a while now. There's stuff I gotta do for Kuteo, but one of my friends had offered to um, to do the, the CAD work for me, so I might might take them up on that offer. Cause they're trying they're trying to learn Blender and. Uh, I honestly don't have time to do CAD right now. So it's like, hmm, maybe, 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 maybe. thing and then keep up or a neat spot yeah <laughs> well, I want, like for me my CAD work um, I use Rhino and that's more for like jewelry design and things 
But I'd like to eventually go into Blender. But it's just, I have to sit down and learn it, and it's like, I don't have time to learn another pro program, so I kind of feel like I just need to stay in my own program. Because I know that's what works. Sorry, the hiccups. Typically, I don't like to cut out straight from putting the pattern on the film, but I don't really have any silver sharpies anymore. So, reason being is a lot of times your uh, blade will catch the paper. We need two of these. This is, so all of these pieces right here, this is gonna be the under piece and we'll glue all the pieces to either side of it. Yeah, send silver Sharpies to the PO box. That'd be great actually. Silver Sharpies die so fast though with foam. One of the downsides. larger pieces and then we need two of the smaller ones we haven't had Daniel come on yet today. But I guess he's probably still at work today. I think he works in the mornings or something. Cheers. Okay. Now, we got these annoying pieces. So there's this one and this one we gotta cut out. These are the decoration parts for here and for this little thingy. There's a lot of them. Hmm. Hmm. Just a sec.
for the sake of like attaching this, I think I might, I might just cut it out of this and then like instead of tracing the small piece, trace like the negative part, make it easier. Like I do have silver sharpies, but they're like dead dead kinda, but we might be able to make a little bit of a mark. going to be lines you can easily just like put a line with your exacto blade and then use a heat gun and then you don't have to fully cut through it that's the little trick of trick Trying to get all of the main parts cut out before lunch. Okay, so there's that one. Where the end of the day becomes smooth. <laughs> yup.
reality, these pieces I probably could have done with the, um, the fabric paint and it would have worked as well. Just as nice, but it would have not been dry for the end of the stream, so. And thanks for watching guys. Happy sub day. Today is a once a month day here on my Twitch stream that is dedicated to specifically my sub community to say thank you for your support so I can continue to do this as my full time job. And as that, my subs got to vote on what we would do for the sub day as our one day prop build and y'all voted on the Master Sword. So we are making that. <laughs> We'll start probably next week with um, suggestions for what y'all would like us or like me to make for next month's sub day. But next month is gonna be a little hectic. I've got already tons of stuff on the calendar, so we'll have to see what day we will be able to do it on. I may or may not be going to um, a convention next month as a guest. Ooh. <laughs> so yeah, there might be news. There might be news. Maybe something Halo thing. I don't know. Oh, we have Halloween next month too, so. But I mean, I'm just gonna say it. I've know y'all suggested the like Halo helmet and stuff. That's a no go for a one day build. Like, uh uh. <laughs> There's gotta be something that I can reasonably make in one day. <laughs> Like, even this build uh, for the Master Sword, I think, is pushing it. But we will see. I want, I want our Sub Day stuff to be like, fun things that aren't gonna make me so stressed by making them. <laughs> Not necessarily always like, the biggest, coolest thing, because I can't do that all the time. So yeah. Hi JJ Cosplay, welcome on. And cheers guys, thanks for watching. Okay. So I think that's it that we need for two mil. Um, so I can put this up. I need 12 millimeter now. So let me go get that. One side is 12 and the other side isn't. This one will work. This one's 12. Alright. We can use scrap doos Yay. Yay, yay. Alrighty. Yep, we're making the Master Sword today. As voted by our subs. So. And then these pieces, we need four of them. And that is going to be the a very tip part. Um, the plan is to connect them together. We'll see if it works. I might, like I have it in my head that it'll work, but in reality it may not. <laughs> so we'll see. 
Okay. Um, don't use that. We'll put it on this side so you can see. nice on this bone though. Give it a little space. Reincarnated as slime. So far, it's as weird as it sounds. Interesting, interesting. Um, I don't know if I've heard of it, but it does kind of remind me of. It will work for sure. Okay. Thanks for your faith. Oh, I didn't realize it was open. Um, it kind of reminds me of. Wasn't there? There's an anime that's called like Parasite, and it's like on the guy's finger, and then like takes over his arm and stuff, and like that one was pretty cool. Little eyeball guy on his hand. Okay, those pieces. Parasite was neat. Yeah. I'm glad I got the name right then. Alright, two cuts. Two cuts. Mmm. I'm still not 100% sure on this one, but we'll see. It might be I have to cut like a circle for the center for all of them to connect to. All right. <laughs> okay, so yeah, it's a, uh, oh, stop recording. So technically these will be like triangles and then I can connect them all in the ends like that to come together. That's my idea and we'll see if it works. That is that. Bam! <laughs> Lithian, Ogmon, and thank you for the biddies. Much love. Yeah, it's not a 24 hour stream. No, we. I, I will say this again. We will never do a 24 hour cosplay crafting stream because it is extremely dangerous. Um, working with power tools and being tired and working with sharp objects, I don't want to cut myself. So yeah, that's, that's not an option. So <laughs> yeah, for the top of the handle is what we were talking about. Would I try another hair color? Um, no, not right now. <laughs> So for me, I cannot have any like non-natural hair color uh, just because of other things that I do. Um, but yeah, I, I like the dark hair on me. So that's, that's mine. Yeah, fingers and toes are important. Okay, so the very last pieces that we're gonna cut out, we have to use with the uh, circle cutter. We have costal circle ones, so. 
Okay. And basically, I, I figured out what we need for them um, last night, obviously for prep work. But this is gonna be for this section here and for, for this section here. So we're basically gonna be cutting a ton of circles that I'll sand to shape. And for this bottom section, I have for this part being 10 millimeter, this part being four millimeter, and then here having two pieces of 12 millimeter. And so I have to do an inner circle that'll fit our uh, carbon fiber tubing as well as the outer circle and then sand it to place and then we'll slide them and glue them and whatnot. For the top half up here, the plan is for the bottom ring to be four mil. The, um, I'm making this section so it counts as another bottom ring because it has a up and then out. So that one's gonna be six there with two 10 millimeter. So that, that is the plan, that is the plan, so yeah. Yeah, I'm, I'm planning on this being more of like an eight hour build. Um, anything that goes like, I'm fine with going for 10 hours, but past that really is like a no go. Um, it, it's different for doing gaming streams. I've done really, really long gaming streams of like 14, 16 hours. And that's totally different when you aren't working with sharp objects. You aren't working with chemicals that you have to wear a respirator for like six hours. Um, using power tools and things like that. It gets really dangerous when you're tired. So yeah. But that... No joking with that stuff, please. I know, I know y'all always want me to go longer, but I, it's a really dangerous thing. So yeah. Mm-hmm. All right, so let's get our circle cutter out. Yeah, we used to do, when we did gaming streams back in the day, we, I used to stream on Saturdays from like, I think I started at 7 p.m. and I'd go to like, sometimes two to four in the morning. And the games we did for those were like Atlas, um, we did Fallout 76 together. Um, those were our main ones that we played like all throughout the night, which were a lot of fun. So yeah, and the wine, the wine was always there, but yeah. Oh yeah, sewing machine is also dangerous when you're tired because the fact that you have a needle going in and out, if you're not careful with your fingers, you can just like forget something and not pay attention because you're tired and you can really hurt yourself. So, yup, yup. <laughs> okay, so what we need to do is we will have this thing, I'll have to put it to our Calibration. I wish, so it has, so this is cost tools hole cutter, uh, or yeah, circle cutter, sorry. But uh, they're one of my sponsors and the inside part, it does have a ruler, but it's kind of iffy. So we'll have to kind of measure it. For doing a circle inside of a circle that you need to be perfect, sometimes you gotta, Gotta go and uh, measure it a little bit more. So yeah. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Let's start off. We need four millimeters. So that'll be our first one. Oh, hiccups. I know I have a scrap over there, but I want to use, or the main one, but I want to use my scrappers if possible. Okay, 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 okay. Let's see, let's do... I gotta move this. the four millimeter. 
millimeter. We're gonna start with the bottom one. That one, we need it to be an inner circle of 22 millimeters. is like really bad from this morning. doing a circle inside of a circle um, makes it a little bit more difficult. So that, and then we're gonna do our, so 22 divided by two is 11. to be 30, we'll say 31. Come on, I keep going back and forth too much. We 
need to change this now. So we are at... In here a bit more. We'll use, we'll use the big circle cutter first. So let us re, re change it. It was roughly like there, I think. Okay, a little smaller. too so that's fine that circle's nicer let me see eh, I can go ahead and just cut one more since that one the first one wasn't as nice it got a little a little pick there tools hole drill and it's it comes in three sizes this one's the largest one um, but basically the smallest circle like there's a gap for the tools in between so this one's gonna be what we use okay but it's easier to do the smaller circle first than the larger one but in this case it's harder to set up center. It looks pretty close. Yeah, that's pretty close. Yeah, do a little bit more. I didn't 
pierce it all the way down. There we go. Ta -da! So then you can have other circles if you want. center and that's our other piece. I know it's hard to be able to see but make it a little larger. Let's see if that's good. larger sheet. The circle cutter sometimes has issues with cutting. So we will see. Hopefully it won't move on us. Looks 
roughly there. Boop. Okay, so now we have that one done for the top. Okay. And then the next ones we need to do would be 10 millimeter. So let's get that size out. I'm gonna put these up too since we no longer need them. We're almost done cutting out all of our foam pieces. So yeah, and thank you guys for watching. I hope you're enjoying our stream today. sheets. Okay, so we're gonna need to cut three circles for this one. Um, two for the top because we're gonna stack them so then I can carve it into the shape we want and then one for this piece. So we'll start with this one first which is we said 53 so hopefully I like 54 more though. <laughs> okay, 27, so we'll do our little, we'll start over here. If it's that much we need, we'll want it to be like here. So that'll be our center dot. And 27. will be here and then we'll do we need to have at least that much space on here so we'll do our center dot there with there okay you use metal cookie cutters that's cool that's a cool idea yeah, this one, so um, Costals is one of my sponsors, and this one is their circle cutter. Uh, if you do exclamation points, um, Costals, it'll bring you to their website. Uh, or if you go to exclamation point Amazon, I have a list of all of their tools. Uh, if you want to help support with some Amazon uh, affiliate links. And then this one is their hole drill. That's three sizes. But they're, they're really useful. All right, so we're gonna make it larger for this one. I'm gonna guess about that much. That looks pretty close. Okay. We're gonna put it there and I'm gonna record one more time. Okay, should be it. It does not look like we did our center, but that's okay. Since we're not really cutting anything from the center. Ooh, I didn't cut it all the way through. Good thing we'll be sanding it after. Yeah, the only downfall with this tool is you don't get a smooth edge. It's all slightly like, because it's cutting slowly down, you have tons of carving lines. And the gray EVA foam doesn't seem to be as messy, but uh, typically the black EVA foam, you'll have a lot more scrap dust around. So, thanks Cliff. So that one is that one, and then we need a second one. Oops, wrong side. 
But yeah, it, the tool itself works better when you're using a sheet that it's 100% the ring is sitting on. Yeah, of course you can always sand it. But the issue is when you're cutting something versus using an X-Acto knife or a box cutter, you typically have a nice, more consistent, smooth edge. So there is cleanup afterwards. will be this piece that will carve and then these two pieces will attach at the bottom and that'll make up this piece and our uh, CPVC pipe will attach in there so yeah You can always do it on a scrap piece, but the thing is you have to apply even pressure on both sides because this thing is rotating. So if you have another piece that's kind of holding, this whole thing you have to kind of hold. So. And you have to have scrap pieces too. It's better to have one piece than, than multiples though. Trust me, I've, d I've tried, I've tried many ways, so. Okay, last one we need is this bottom one. And then this one. This one's gonna be we'll say 66 hi seven deadly streamers welcome on how are you today so 66 which then will be 33 so I'm just gonna write it someone give to you a sub yeah we had a, a few uh, sub bombs. We had one from Gummy Jeeves today, and then the last stream we had a few. So I don't know which one you got it from, but congratulations and happy sub day! What time is it? Oof. We're almost close to food time. Love the updated emotes. Uh. I think I've had those for like quite a few months now, but thank you. <laughs> All right, this one, so we'll need at least that much room. So let's do here and here. And need to make the other mark. This one, we will have to do a center uh, cut. So we'll have to try to get that. Yeah, for those that don't know what sub day is, sub day is a day here on my Twitch channel to say thank you for your support, specifically for my sub community, um, as this is my main source of income and lets me continue to do this as my full-time job. So I greatly appreciate it. And as a little thank you, we do a one day prop build that our subs get to choose what I make. So the Master Sword was 100% chosen by our sub community here. And same with like past sub day builds, we did Umaru's hamster hoodie, um, where we sewed that all in one day and made the pattern. We did Klee's backpack from Genshin Impact. Uh, we did the Highland Shield also from Zelda. Um, those are the ones that we've done so far. Okay, next one. Oh, I did not raise this all the way. Or did I? Uh, okay, I'm gonna have to 
move this to more area. It needs more surface to sit on. We'll just say fuck it and do it in the center. That'll work best. They do recommend for using this tool also to have a foam board underneath it. So that way your blade does not dull as fast. But I ain't not doing it. Do we all get Jimmy Johnson's? <laughs> I mean, I typically do. I should have, I actually should have my sub downstairs. Um, I tried to place an order ahead of time. So we'll see. We will see if it's there, but uh, we have a few more pieces to cut out before I stop for a short lunch break. And then we'll continue with our build after with um, assembling and sanding and doing everything. So yeah. Couple months you had a blonde version last. Ah, okay. Yeah, we. I guess I updated the color of the hair. I guess that was last month. But um, maybe or two months ago or three. I have no idea. But yeah, there's also an emote for fluff now, and uh, da 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 da. I can't think. I can't think right now. We're gonna say this is roughly the center. Just kinda, kinda do that. That seems about close enough. Okay, so for this one, ooh, actually, 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 smaller inside okay so we will have to change it just because our cpvc pipe for the handle the actual handle part is thicker than the supporting structure that goes through the blade so let's see if we can kind of align this i'm gonna use this as a little guide and we're gonna just guess it Seems pretty center ish ish. Yeah. <laughs> nice, 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 nice. Okay, so this one will have this on top. And the shorter piece should be below this. So our, our last two circles we gotta cut out are, oh, we are unstable now. Oh boy. Let's see. Uh, we were having issues with this yesterday too. I don't know what to do. Blah. Hopefully it'll get better. We'll see. I know, centerish, centerish, centerish. Yeah. Okay, so that is that. So the next one we need is a 12 millimeter each, which I have from the black foam. You can go over there. We're done with this one and we'll have to change to a different circle size. Okay, so for this one we need Oh, it should be the same actually. It should just be the 33. I shouldn't have moved it. Or wait. Yeah, it should be the 33. Alrighty. 
So I'll need two circles. We'll just do them in the middle. Um, it should just be the same. We don't need to change measurements, so. You should be good right there. always have to wind it up because there's a sharp piece and if you don't wind it up it sticks out and it hurts. Boop. So yeah you can see how this one the foam there's just a, a little bit more with the black EVA foam than the gray. to do one more hole and we're gonna have to go down a size with this one. So we will use, so for this they have, this one's their smallest one and then they have this size as their medium one, which I think should be fine for what we need. again. Um, yeah. So we're going to, hey, actually, actually, we'll just continue with this. Oh, wait, no, it's a different size. This will at least get us somewhere close to the center, I guess. Um, we'll just do this. That'll give us that circle that we can hopefully then kind of get in the circle center. Or we could do... It's harder to see with the black though. We're gonna say that's center-ish. And I'm gonna save this piece in case we need it later. Okay, so there. And we'll do, see if I can touch it. Yeah. Alrighty. So I think that's 100% of our pieces cut out now. Um, for the master sword. Let me clear this up and then we'll, we'll put everything out to make sure we have it all, just in case. Sorry if that was loud for y'all. I can put this stuff up now.
today. Thank you for the host. Much love. All right, so let's see, let's see. Hopefully we have everything now. All right, so we have our four pieces for the sword. That's like the best I can show. Yeah, I've used, uh, for the hole drills and stuff, I've used them for rivets all the time. Um, I also use them for jump rings. Really easy to just like make those simple. Um, but for making like hilts and things, this is the base construction that I do for, for like a pommel or a hilt thing. So, yeah. So let's, let's just lay them next to each other. Write it down, write it down. <laughs> Ninja, thank you for the resub of two months. Uh, keep up the good work. Eee, thank you. Much love and happy sub day as always. I will write it down. And thank you guys so much for all of your support this month and today specifically. I really appreciate it. Sub, I got it. Thank you, thank you. Alrighty, so we have that. This is going to be all the pieces for the blade. And then we have this part, which is all the pieces for the pommel. This part, which is all the pieces for this middle section here. We have our little sword piece, which I, it looks crooked to me. Ooh, that doesn't sound good. So this will be the inner inner bone structure thing that'll go throughout it there. So it'll be there. And then we have these four pieces, which will end up being this thing at the top. All that's done. This will have the rope around it. This part is that. We have these two pieces, which are here and here, with all of those pieces that'll attach onto either side. And then we have for the bottom part that attaches there and there, all of these pieces. I'm purposely keeping them separate. And then for the top section, we have our diamonds, one for either side with this little thingy, one for either side. And then we have last the detail pieces of, eee, they're so tiny. That, that, and then this piece which will attach and go around there, this piece that'll attach and go around there, and then for the little immovable carbon in at the very end. But that is all of the pieces for the Master Sword that we've cut out now, and we're pretty much ready to, um, I'm, again, I'm gonna do a small lunch break. I got a Jimmy John subs. I'll come up here, and like we've done on our past sub days, I'll still be able to talk. I'll just be off camera, so if y'all have questions, y'all can ask at that point. Um, I'll try to eat fast. <laughs> and then we will start with uh, basically putting this together and sanding. Um, so yeah. Yay. <laughs> yeah. Oh, like I said, for, for the Triforce thing, we're gonna carve it into the uh, blade. Cause it's not a three dimensional part. It's embedded into the sword blade. So for painting purposes, I want to paint it and then I can just do a little bit of a dark cut color and then kind of wipe it into the piece. So I'm gonna do a picture real quick. All right, so let me go get my food. And I will be back momentarily, guys. Thank you for watching and happy, happy Sunday. I'm gonna do an ad while I go, go grab it downstairs. Don't eat too fast, I know. I try not to. 